Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the acidity of carboxylic acids. Um, you probably already know that carboxylic acids are more acidic than alcohols because the carboxylic acids conjugate base, the carboxylate anion, is resonance stabilized. And resonance stabilization of the conjugate base uh, increases the acidity of the conjugate acid. So, um, and in general, this is going to hold true. And for most uh, carboxylic acids, uh, simple carboxylic acids, you might expect pKa between 4 and 5 pKa units. Uh, and so I'm just going to share with you some pKa's of some carboxylic acids. And we're going to start with formic acid. Um, and the pKa of formic acid is 3.77. Uh, pKa of acidic acid is 4.76. And so uh, the increase in pKa means that acidic acid is a weaker acid than formic acid. And you can attribute that to move this thing out of the way. Uh, CH3 being uh, electron donating. Formats correctly. Alkyl groups are electron donating. Uh, the and hydrogen's not, so electron don electron donating groups destabilize anions. So, you know, the alkyl group here makes that a little bit less acidic. And then the propyl group, uh, pKa is 4.87, so it's a little bit. Say so propanoic acid is a little bit less acidic, but not much. Uh, and it's worth uh, noting that the aromatic ring, so benzoic acid, isn't that big of a difference at 4.2 um, or 4.19, according to some sources. Uh, but this electron donating thing's a big deal. Uh, so if you had some substituted acetic acids, for example, like fluoroacetic acid, uh, fluorine is electron withdrawing by resonance, it's electronegative. The pKa of fluoroacetic acid is 2.66. So it's having this fluorine here is about is like a whole pKa unit or or 10 times more acidic than formic acid. Uh, other things that are more acidic than the, the than acetic acid by comparison include the amino acids, like alanine here has pKa uh, of 2.35. So the nitrogen one molecule again, increases the pKa, even though we do normally consider amine as, as an electron donating group, but it's not able to participate, but it's only electron donating through resonance, and it's not able to participate in resonance here. So it's electron withdrawing because it's elect the nitrogen is electronegative. And similarly, we should expect lactic acid, which looks like alanine, but has an OH group here, to, to have a lower pKa than uh, acetic acid, and it does. Uh, 3.86. Uh, now it's interesting why um, the pKa of, of uh, you know, the pKa of uh, the mean here of alanine is actually lower than when nitrogen is the least electronegative of oxygen, fluorine, and nitrogen uh, is because it actually, you know, Yeah, neutral pH, the nitrogen is protonated. So the, the species that we are comparing, in fact, is not this, you know, not just a nitrogen that can support the the, pot, the negative charge through withdrawing, but actually a cation uh, that can help balance out the charge through induction. And I just wanted to share with you the uh, pKa's of some of the diacids. So here's oxalic acid. Uh, because it's a diacid, it has two pKa's, and we'll list both values. Uh, the first pKa is 1.25. Right? The carboxylic acid is electron donating, and it's directly attached to another carboxylic acid. And so the first carboxylic acid to be deprotonated is much more acidic, while the second one 
is uh, sort of what you'd expect a normal carboxylic acid to be. Malonic acid, uh, first pKa is 2.83. Uh, and the second pKa is 5.69. So there's, a, again, a, an, an effect of having the electron withdrawing carbonyl group nearby. Uh, what I will share with you, though, is that succinic acid, the four carbon acid, now, uh, the first pKa of succinic acid is 4.2, and the second one is 5.6. So the effects of the carboxylic acids on each other and their pKa's is decreasing the farther apart they get. And if we go up to glutaric acid, which is the five uh, carbon acid, and I'm not going to draw it, but it's pKa's. You know, and of course, I, that's not on my list, um, but it's pKa's are going to be similar once there's enough space in between the two functional groups. They don't have a strong impact on each other. Inductive effects, you know, decrease over distance. So this is just a, a refresher on uh, carboxylic acid uh, acidities and the same the sorts of things that you know affect acidity, affect carboxylic acids. It's worth noting uh, that the benzoic acids. So I'll do one last thing. The benzoic acids uh, are impacted by their substituents. Uh, in sort of a predictable way. If you have an electron withdrawing group on benzoic acid, like a nitro group, then you would expect a lower pKa and you'd get it, uh, 3.44. Um, but, uh, and if you have an electron donating group on, oh, you have an electron donating group on benzoic acid, you should expect uh, a higher pKa, and you would get that too, because electron donating groups destabilize anions. So for example, uh, peri paramethoxy benzene, uh, paramethoxy benzoic, benzoic acid is 4.47, so a little bit less acidic than, than benzoic acid. So, so here's my summary of pKa's. All right. Thank you for watching.